can sometimes be quite a dilemma choosing whether to get a one person or a two person tent they both have got their pros and cons for the most part I tend to prefer a one person tent more benefits for me anyway so many different ones to choose from all different shapes and sizes different styles and designs but for the most part I tend to always go with a one man tent I like the size of the footprint of it it's, you can get it pitched into some really tight spaces. It's great if you want to do some sort of stealthy camping. Um, or you're going to places where there's only little small areas of flat ground to pitch your tent. Peak District, in between lots of rocks, there's loads of places like that that would be no good for a two-person tent. But it's perfect for something small like this. Still going with a yellow mug for a little while. So I get asked all the time, what is the best tent for solo backpacking? Shall I get a one man tent? Shall I get a two man tent? And it, it all depends on you to be honest. We've all got different needs, we've all got we've all got different requirements of comfort levels, things like that. So obviously a two man tent going to have more room inside so you've got plenty of room to like I've had to put my backpack outside here two-man tent I can bring it in with me I can spread out a bit when I'm settling down for the night if Joe decides to come with me we can both get in a two-man tent whereas you know a one-man tent really is a bit of a squeeze even for me but I like that coziness so I've already mentioned that one-man tent's got a smaller footprint so you can fit it into smaller spaces. It's great for stealthier camps, but the pack size is smaller as well. So I don't need to bring as big a bag or I've got more room in my bag for something else. It weighs a little bit less, although usually for just a few hundred grams more, you can get the two person version of the tent. So I think this one's a shade over two kilos for a one man tent, whereas it's, I think it's 2.5 kilos, might be a little bit heavier for the two man version. You know when you're not in a rush for the kettle to boil. <laughs> Except when you're gagging for a coffee. It's not set in stone for every tent, but I've also found that one-man tents seem to be a little bit more sturdy and robust in the wind. So the Helm 1, for example, which is very similar to this tent, is sturdier in the wind than the Helm 2. It's got smaller panel sizes. It seems to deflect the wind better. It just seems more of a robust shelter because of the panel sizes are smaller. Also, you know, there's less friction for the wind. So if you've got it end on, you know, there's less of a target for the wind to, to be fighting against. We're nearly there. We're still in summer at the moment, so it doesn't get dark till, till quite late at night. So I haven't got to spend a huge amount of time inside the tent. So when it comes to winter, and if you're spending 12, 14 hours inside your shelter, it's nice to have that extra space. So a two-man tent might be a better option for you. Um, again, that's down to personal preference. But also in those colder winter months, I find it easier to heat up the inside of a one-man tent. You know, there's, there's less volume in here. So once you get that sort of ambient temperature, it stays warmer inside. But there's a lot less room inside for getting changed and having to pee, that kind of thing. So when I bought my Hilleberg Nello, it was a similar sort of thing for me. I didn't know whether to get the two man or the three man, because that was going to be the tent that me and Joe weren't camping in. And it is nice to have a little bit of room. I know Joe likes a little bit more luxury and a little bit more space inside. So I went for the, the three man version. It was only 200 grams heavier for such a large amount of space, but it does restrict where I can actually pitch it because it's, 
the footprint is just that much larger. First one of the day, gagging for it. I've not noticed a huge amount of difference when it comes to condensation between two man and a one man tent. A lot of people seem to experience a bit more in a one man tent. I think it's because everything's a little bit closer to you, but you're gonna get condensation if the conditions are right for it anyway, no matter what tent you've got. I've had tarps that are just six or seven foot above the ground and they've still got condensation on them. So, you know, it is all about the conditions. Some tents are better than others though. If the tent is designed with more ventilation, it is gonna help reduce things a bit. So usually as well, so a two man tent, you tend to get two lots of storage area, two doors. So this has got, instead of a storage area at the back, which I'll show you in a minute, it's, it just gives you this little bit of internal storage, which is all right for putting your phone and your power bank on the floor, but it's, yeah, it's not, any good for putting your wet boots in and things like that. Um, a two man tent, like I say, you've usually got two doors on most of them anyway. This sort of style. And it just means that <laughs> when you're both in the tent, you haven't got to go climbing over each other to get in and out. I'll give you a little bit of a look round. So I've not bothered guy in the tent out. We are quite secluded here, protected by all the trees. As you can see, the panels are really small because this is quite angular. You know, it just sheds the wind really well. This area would be great if it could be used as a second storage area. As you can see, you just get a little bit of extra space here where those pockets are. There is enough room for my sleeping pad. So I could get a wide pad in here as well. So it, yeah, it's... I like the coziness of a one-man tent. It's easier to keep warm in winter. I can always find somewhere to pitch it. It's lighter to carry in my pack. But the compromise is I haven't got as much space inside. It's one of those things that you've got to decide for yourself what's most important. So I've got room to sit up. I've got room to, to cook in this vestibule area with the tent door closed if I need to. Obviously, I would have the top open a little bit and make sure everything's ventilated. So for that reason, me personally, choose a one-man tent almost all the time. But I have got a bit of a confession to make. Now I'm getting on a bit. I do like to spread out a bit. So I bought the Hilleberg Gunner, which is, I'll say it's a one and a half person tent. It has got, it's about a meter of width. Whereas this one, I think, is around 70 centimetres of width. So it just gives you that bit more room. I can get all my gear inside the tent with me on that one. And in winter conditions, it's a lovely place to be to be holed up for 14 hours or so. Well, let me know in the comments. Are you a one-man tent person? <laughs> or one-person tent man? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not very PC. Or do you prefer the extra room of a two-man tent? Or even a three-man tent. It doesn't really matter what stuff you take with you. As long as you're happy to carry it and it all fits in your backpack. So a good example of why I like the footprint of a one-man tent. I recently went camping with Andy Beavers. I didn't have any idea where we were going to be pitching. But I knew that if I took the one-man Southern Cross tent with me, it's got such a small footprint, I can guarantee that I find somewhere to pitch it. Just in case anyone wants to know, this is the new wild country panacea one so i have had the panacea two before this is the one where you can add your trekking poles in here to give it extra strength and stability which is a nice option to have if the wind picks up so if anyone at terra nova is watching i have been asked about the inner tents so the helm one is one of your most popular tents and people have been asking why don't you just design a mesh only inner that you can buy separately and then you can interchange them between summer and winter months and this is mainly solid so you can still get some ventilation it's got half mesh there but you know, a full mesh tent will be much cooler in the summer months i did buy the mesh inner from a hilleberg owner and it's ridiculously expensive just for 
an inner tent. It's great. I don't recommend you spend that kind of money on a tent unless you're really seriously into your camping anyway. So a quick summary before I sign off. One man tent, smaller pack size, lighter to carry, smaller footprint so you can pitch it virtually anywhere and in winter months I find them warmer inside as well. From my experience they tend to be a little bit more robust in the wind but the compromise is you haven't got very much space inside. You can't always store your gear inside. You haven't really got the option of fitting another person in there with you. So it can feel a little bit more claustrophobic if you're in here for long periods of time. And that's when you might want to consider a two-man tent. Anyway, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.